Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saver CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to make dovetail drawers from half inch Baltic birch plywood. I think you're really gonna like this project. Sean, I got a question for you. Yeah, what's up? In your cabinet shop, do you buy your drawers or do you make your drawers? We do both. More often than not, we're making our own drawers. Do you make them on your machine? We do, we use KCD. They've got a great dovetail drawer package. We cut everything out of Baltic birch. It's really slick. Here's what I'd like to do. I'd like to take a real cabinet job so that you get small drawers and big drawers and actually run it. Do you think we could do that? I've got just the one. We've got your standard kitchen drawers and a couple rollouts in there. One other question. I see where people burn a logo onto the drawers. Do you do that? You know, we've, we've ordered them that way. I don't have a laser in my shop, but I know we've got one well, here. Our machine has a laser. If you can get me that logo, we can make that happen. I like that idea. I've got the logo. I can send you that and I'll get you the job file. Great. Let's get started. Sounds good. I'm back in the office. I got the KCD file from Sean and I got the, his company logo. Now, let me show you how you set this up with KCD. Okay, here's a rendering from KCD of our kitchen. So you kind of get an idea. There's an island here, there's appliances. So we're looking at the kind of drawers that you find in a kitchen. These are dovetail drawers. And Vortex has a tool set that allows us to create dovetail drawers from half inch Baltic birch plywood that really look nice. So that's what we're going to be doing in here. Let's take a look at our job in KCD. Now, one of the things that's neat about this is Vortex has a tool set that allows us to machine dovetail drawers from sheet stock from half inch Baltic birch, and they look really, really good. So KCD is gonna create the tool pass for us automatically. Now, here's how that happens. I go to parts and I select uh, what's called a cut list and think about a cut list method being a way to make things. So I might have a cut list that says, this is how I make dovetail drawers, for instance. Then I come over to here and these are all the, all the different cabinets. And I'll just select all of them and I say calculate. And KCD starts creating individual part drawings of every drawer part in the job. And here they are. We can look at a few of them. You'll recognize them. Now, when you see these parts here, these are actually dovetail tool paths that you're seeing. Then this happens to be a drawer front that has a notch in it for under undermount guides and so forth. So you see all those. Then we have KCD to nest them. So nesting basically figures out the best way to use the material so that you have the least amount of waste. And there's what our nest looks like. So there's the first sheet. There's the second, there's the third, and there's the fourth. And of course, we only need like a half a sheet of material for the fourth one. And of course, the, the G code's already created. If I, if I open this folder, the programs that are needed to machine that are already here. So all I have to do is send those out to Sean and we can run those, those parts. Now, let's look at how we do the logo. Our ShopSaber IS-408 actually has the op laser option. So we're going to use that to laser engrave the company logo into each of the drawers. Let me show you how you set that up with VCAR Pro. All right, here's the logo. Let's see how big this is. Okay, it's, it's almost three inches. All right, now, basically, let's think about this setup. What we want to do is we want to put the company logo, if you're facing the cabinet, the drawer side to the left, we want that uh, to have the logo so when you pull the drawer out, you see it. So, But we want the setup to be the same regardless of the drawer. So that's why this is turned upside down. So the origin's here. So the part locator pins are actually the spore board you can use for aligning it. You line the panel up here and then we uh, laser engrave that. Now, it really doesn't take anything to hold the part. There's no side pressure. Now, if you had a part, a drawer part maybe that was warped or something, you might use vacuum to hold it in place, but technically it doesn't take anything. Basically, you slide the piece in there, laser engrave it, put the next one, next one, next one. And here's what the tool pass look like. The first one, they're basically uh, meshes is what they are. You're just cutting back and forth. The laser tool is just treated like a small tool and, and then it does the tool pass. And then 
these are some different shapes and what we because of the the different widths in here we change the feed rates a little bit between those two but that's really all it takes from an operational standpoint all you have to do is put the blank in there hit cycle start and it laser engraves it so it's really really simple our next step is to generate the g-code file for this we've already got the files for the parts we'll send those out to sean and have him run this job on the machine all right i just got done talking with router bob about what we're going to be doing today i've got all the tools laid out we're gonna start with our number one tool is gonna to be a, a 3 8 two flute down cut. We'll use that to do the dados for the drawer bottoms. Our number two tool is gonna to be a quarter inch two flute down cut. We'll use that to cut out, clean up around the, the tails of the dovetails. Our third tool is Vortex's dovetail bit. We're gonna use that to cut all the slots for the dovetails. The great thing about this, they do offer one body and you can switch your inserts and either have a rounded or a flat dovetail. The last one we're gonna use, number four, is a 3 8 two flute mortise compression bit. We're gonna use that to cut out all of our parts. After we finish that, we'll clear the table, we'll load up the op laser, and we'll get that ready to laser engrave, burn in our logo on the sides of the drawers. Now that we've got all our tools covered, I'll load tool three back up, let's get to work.
CNC Sean, how did the drawer project come out? Hey, Rotter Bob. You know, KCD makes this real easy. Take a look at these. I want to see the fit on those dovetail joints. Oh my goodness, there's no there's no gaps at all. That's an absolutely perfect fit. Yeah, that's what we expect every time. How about the edge finishes? Wow, that Baltic birch really finishes nice. You these know, aren't even sanded. Wow. You know, there's something else too. I want to look at that logo. That's beautiful. Your customers are absolutely going to love that. I, you know, I love it. I just hope they love it as much as I do. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. And check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.